Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the EdTech Explorer. My name is Romeo, your Google Workspace for Education Certified Trainer from the Philippines. Ayan, and if it's your first time here uh, to our channel, welcome, welcome. Ayan, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll know our latest events and videos. Ayan, and of course po, meron din po kaming Facebook page called the EdTech Explorer. Ayan. So make sure to like and follow us as well, ha? So you'll always be updated. Ayan. So maraming maraming salamat po in advance. Ayan. So let's start. Alright. So first thing, you have to open uh, the file that you want to fix. Okay. So let me just click file. Okay. And then open. And then I'll look for the file that I want to fix. So for example, this one, I'll just click open. And this is the photo that uh, that we're going or we're going to try uh, to fix or lessen the damage. So as you can see, let me just zoom in by again by pressing Control Plus, okay, and then I'll be Control Minus and I'll zoom out a bit. So as you can see here, uh, there's a big damage on the uh, on the teeth, okay. So uh, we're going to try to fix it. All right. So how do we? Uh, fix it. Okay, so we're going to duplicate first the layer. Alright, so left click on this and drag it again here at the create new layer uh, icon and then release it. And then we'll have uh, a duplicate of that layer. And this time, instead of using the he at the spot healing brush tool, what we're going to use is the clone stamp tool, the healing brush tool, and uh, I will be introducing to you also the dodge, uh, the dodge tool. All right. So to start with, okay, let me use the clone stamp tool. Okay, the clone stamp tool. Uh, all you have to do is just to click on the icon, or you can also click the letter S on the keyboard uh, to activate or to enable the clone stamp tool. All right. So just like with the healing brush, uh, the healing brush tool, you'll be able to see uh, a brush, and using the the left and right bracket, you can increase the size of your brush, and of course decrease the brush size of your brush. Okay. Now. Uh, uh, another difference here with the clone stamp tool in order for you to utilize it I would like you to observe first that if I place my 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 brush here okay you can see a circle with an a hollow in the middle okay so but if I will press the alt button in our keyboard you will notice that the brush tool have changed from a hollow circle to a uh, similar to a uh, cross air okay so the cross air will allow us to select a certain area on the photo that you want to duplicate or clone hence the clone stamp tool name of the tool so for example if i want to duplicate this here at the empty part of the uh the empty part of this uh area of the tooth okay so all i have to do is just to left click on this area so i just click it and release the alt button if you will notice if i place my mouse pointer here there's already a, a white spot you know if you can notice that so with that you can already press the left button key just like what you did with the brush uh, healing brush tool so if you're going to click it okay click it uh, gently until such time you are able to form the teeth once you notice that it's no longer duplicating the right portion you can click again you can press again the alt button and click again uh, on the surface any surface of the photo that you wish to be cloned click it and try to apply it again until such time you are able to uh, complete Okay, until such time you're able to complete or at least uh, able to do what you want to happen. So as you can see, we were able to uh, complete okay, or remove at least the damaged part of the tooth. So if I will uh, hide this 
player. So this is the original look of the tooth. And then if I press this, if I show it again, so that's how that's the difference. Okay. So that's how we use the uh, clone stamp tool to replicate or clone a certain uh, portion of the image to another area. So uh, another thing that we're going to uh, do here is uh, if you notice that uh, the teeth is a little bit yellowish okay so if you want to whiten it up all you have to do is just to select the dodge tool okay or press letter O to activate or enable the tool and then play again similar thing you can use this the break the the left and the right bracket to decrease or increase the size of our brush and then notice please take a look it lightens up okay it's somehow turning e white okay so as you can see we can do something like this with our um, dodge tool okay so from yellowish uh, teeth to a little bit uh, whiter now just a take note if you wish to do something like this, if you're going to whiten up the teeth of our client, okay, just make sure that you will not uh, lighten it too much, okay, so that it will still look like uh, realistic, all right. So do not overdo the the whitening of your teeth, okay. So if you will notice, if I'll hide this layer, this is the original look of the photo. This is the edited look of the photo if the dodge tool allows us to lighten up okay lighten up the the look of the image uh, the burn tool okay the burn tool will allow us to a little bit darken the area that you wish to darker so, okay and then of course you can use the healing brush tool uh, to uh, what's this to match the area of the uh, of the two okay so let me just uh, do the necessary editing all right so that's the the final version of our uh, fixing the teeth of our client okay using the clone stamp tool the healing brush tool the dodge tool and the uh, burn tool okay so with the use of those tools we were able to somehow fix the look of the teeth okay we were able to cover up the damaged ones okay so that so that's how you can uh, fix no uh, fix or at least um, remove or add up or clone objects in your uh, photos and if you find this video useful please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the EdTech Expert so maraming salamat po hanggang sa muli paalam